In this video, I'm going to learn how to place a cylinder into a hole. First off, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get a better view. I'm going to use the pan tool, which is a little hand tool, to get what I'm working on centered. And I'm going to use the orbit tool to get a little bit better view of the hole. So I'm going to place this cylinder inside this hole. To do this, I'm going to use the constraint tool, which is under the ensemble tab. I'm going to go to constraint. Now, there's different types of constraints I can use. There's the mate, there's the angle, there's the tangent, and then there's the insert. In this case, I'm going to use the mate. So I'm going to select mate. Uh, I'm going to select this mate here. I'm going to select number one, which is going to be the cylinder. Now you notice I'm selecting right here, where I'm selecting the straight line going right through the cylinder. Now I'm going to go to number two, and I'm going to select the straight line going right through the pegboard. Okay, so it placed it in. And I'm going to hit apply to finalize that. However, it's not quite sticking out the right amount. So I'm going to use the mate command again. I am going to go to the same mate, mate. In this case, I'm going to make it flush. That means where they are right up against each other. Select flush. Number one, I'm going to select the front of the peg. And then number two, I'm going to select the front of the peg board. Okay, now you notice it put it right flush up against the edge of the peg board. But I don't want to make it look like it's pounded all the way in. So I'm going to do an offset. Now if I do an offset of a positive number, it's going to make it go forward inside. If I do an offset of a negative number, it's going to make it look like it's kind of sticking out. So I want to have it sticking out about that much. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to rotate, see how it looks on the other side. And there we go. Very nice. 